What is up guys and welcome to another episode of the Skin Reviews and today I'm going to be doing a review of Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Now Rogue One was directed by Gareth Edwards and distributed by Disney Pictures and made an estimated $320 million during the opening week. That's a lot of money. Well there's nothing much to say in this review except that this movie Rogue One is awesome. It is one of the best Star Wars movies in my opinion and that's saying a lot. I think Rogue One is a close second to Empire Strikes Back. Empire Strikes Back is the perfect movie so Rogue One coming second is a big deal. And now here's what we thought of Rogue One. While the pressure on The Force Awakens to successfully relaunch the Star Wars movie series was staggering, Rogue One, a Star Wars story, now faces its crucial moment of truth. Disney and Lucasfilms are looking to expand the Star Wars brand in a big way with spin-off films, which are not part of the central numbered core episode series. And fans are looking at Rogue One to prove that they can deliver satisfying stories in this realm. The very happy news is that fortunately and thrillingly, the film completely succeeds on this and many other levels. Set in the immediate lead-up to the original Star Wars aka Episode 4 A New Hope, Rogue One focuses on the Rebel Alliance, learning about the existence of the Death Star and the subsequent hunt to steal the plans for the deadly battle station that could be key to destroying it. Jin Erso, played by Felicity Jones, is not a member of the Alliance when the film begins, but a criminal recruited by the rebel leader Mon Mothma to help her find her father, Galen Erso, played by Mads Mikkelsen, a brilliant scientist who has been coerced into working on the Death Star project in a crucial role. Teamed with valued rebel cooperative Cassian Andor, played by Diego Luna and his droid K2SO, Alan Tudyk, Jin's mission will bring her into contact with key figures like ex-imperial pilot Bodhi Rook, played by Riz Ahmed, and the extremist anti-empire warrior Saw Gerrera, played by Forrest Whitaker. The mission also leads Jin to cross paths with a couple of formidable fighters who weren't part of the plan. When she and Cassian encounter Chirut Inwe, played by Donnie Yen, and Baze Malbus, played by Wen Jian. A contradictory element of Rogue One is that while it's the first standalone movie, it isn't truly standalone at all, functioning as such a direct prequel to A New Hope, and weaving into that film's plotline in many ways. It's a tricky gambit, as this approach gives Star Wars fans plenty of familiar connective tissue from the start. Yet it also means Rogue One is treading on sacred ground and could easily feel like a hollow attempt to tie itself to a beloved classic. Given all that, the filmmakers are to be applauded for so deftly tying it all together as Rogue One works amazingly well. There were plenty of stories reported about extensive reshoots but the final product feels cohesive and focused and there are no on-screen signs of any issues. There is a powerful in-the-trenches feel to this film as we watch the core characters and their rebel allies battle in the streets, in the forest and memorably in the tropical environment of Scarif. The visual language of Star Wars has been lovingly created, yet Rogue One still is able to have its own vibe. That new vibe extends to how it breaks from many of the cinematic rules of Star Wars. There is no opening crawl, while the film includes elements like a time jump, flashbacks and on-screen text identifying different locations that the episode movies have never used. These small yet distinct differences help the first Star Wars story stand apart from what has come before even as the story is still so rooted in a new hope. Rogue One's strengths also include introducing a likeable core group of characters that are easy to invest in, a key component given we meet so many faces so quickly. While the entire cast was strong, it's Tidix K2SO who's often the standout. The droid is sort of C-3PO's dark, amped up counterpoint. He has a knack for giving troubling statistics, but instead of speaking with a worried attitude, the Imperial droid who's been reprogrammed by the Rebels has more of a resigned and often amusingly cruel and blunt approach. Given the film is introducing so many new faces, it's understandable that not all of Rogue One's characters are given in-depth backgrounds, but there's enough provided to root for folks like the endearing duo of Chirrut and Baze and their action hero moments are easy to cheer on. There are a couple of cases though where it feels like a bit more backstory would have helped. Most notable perhaps with Bodhi, whose huge decision to betray the Empire prior to the start of the film doesn't feel fully fleshed out. On the villain front, Ben Mendelsohn is perfectly swarmy as the ambitious but possibly overreaching director Krennic. 
As for the much buzzed about appearance by Darth Vader, I'll simply say that his screen time is minimal but amazingly effective, adding to the character's legend in wonderful and even chilling ways. Rogue One is not shy on the easter eggs. Mon Mothma, Darth Vader and Bail Organa are hardly the only established characters to appear in the movie and it's hard not to grin at how other familiar Star Wars faces are incorporated. Rogue One also looks beautiful. Edwards has utilized his more grounded, embedded, war zone type camera work incredibly well. The film offers a remarkable recreation of the original Star Wars world while exploring the universe from a different, edgier perspective than is the norm. It also expertly delivers thrills, tension and genuine stakes despite the audience's prior knowledge that the movie's central mission will be a successful one. Gareth Edwards has shown with the first Star Wars story that these spin-offs can have plenty of life in them, adding even more excitement to Star Wars' huge modern resurgence. So there you go, the critics love this movie, I like this movie, everyone else loved this movie, and if you didn't like this movie, then that's your problem. And on that note, if you want to see more content, please do like this video and subscribe to this channel, and until next time, I will see ya!